something years ago Those cold nights in December And the sound of the falling snow The fireplace warming us The VHS movie box Your old broke down touring bus And not a single cloud in the sky right now if I could play back rewind I wouldn't think twice a pair of jeans and a dusty shirt we didn't have a dime no you and me were poor as dirt all we had was Hi you guys, I'm Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Really quick, go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below and also make sure to click that notification bell so you guys can get notified of all of my new content. But I come out with motherhood videos every single week, Tuesday, 10 a.m. Um, unless there is like some technical difficulty, but usually it's Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Also, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who commented on my last week's video. Um, I went ahead and sent those cookie cutters out to the winner. So thank you guys so much. That was a fun little giveaway for Halloween time. So about a month ago, I did a kitchen declutter video and I'm gonna do part two today. We are going to be lining my cupboards with um, like some cupboard liner that helps protect it from getting damaged. We're also going to be cleaning my kitchen and then we're gonna be getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff. So I have a cupboard in my kitchen that is basically the equivalent of a junk drawer and it is a disaster. We did get the Lazy Susans for it and they're already in there but we just have failed to like actually organize it. So that's gonna be my main goal today because it's like, because it's like the bane of our existence in our kitchen. And then I'm gonna get to some other stuff as well and just de-junk as much as I can. So comment below what your favorite place in your house to de-junk and declutter is. I love doing my clothes and getting rid of stuff. Um, I also love doing the kitchen and I have been in the process of it and I'm so excited to keep going today. So um, thank you guys so much for being here and watching and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So my very favorite way to stay motivated while I clean is to put on my very favorite podcast, which is Better Than Happy by Jodi Moore. Um, you guys have probably heard me talk about her before. She's amazing. Her message is all about targeting your thoughts and your mind and creating the best life for yourself. The best way I can describe it is super empowering, like self-help. And it's all about taking ownership over your own actions, feelings, and thoughts, and like also not giving um, power or responsibility over your feelings and thoughts um, to other people, but like just taking ownership for your life. And so you guys really need to check it out. It's so good. I'm in her Be Bold program, which is like a coaching, like a life coaching program. Um, and it's amazing. But her podcast, Better Than Happy, is completely free. So um, anyways, I just wanted to give a shout out to her because I love her. And I feel like her <laughs> podcasts have gotten me through so many hours of cleaning. It's awesome. Um, I also like the podcast Bits of Brie um, by Brianna K. That's another favorite. Or sometimes I'll turn on like one of my favorite shows. Currently, I'm watching Dancing with the Stars and The Bachelorette. Um, and so if I need a little like total veg out like break, I will turn those on. But I find I'm more productive when I listen to a podcast instead of watch TV. Or I will turn on and like blast country music. So what do you guys like to do to stay energized and motivated while you clean? Comment down below. So something that has been on my mind lately, and this is kind of unrelated to <laughs> cleaning, but is mom guilt like do you guys feel like you just have mom guilt 24 7 um i think like it <laughs> we think it's supposed to be helpful in making us better moms but i actually think it does not do that i feel like i am constantly like worried about how, like what a good mom i am and i know that i am like so far from perfect but i think that constant worry really weighs down on me and i know i'm not alone in this um, so I just wanted to like give you guys a little bit of upliftment and let you know that like if you are if you love your children then you are a wonderful mom <laughs> like you probably don't have anything to worry about as long as you love your kids and everybody does things differently as far as their role as a mom goes 
Um, but I think we all need to stop like beating ourselves up because I just find myself super weighed down and then I actually find it doesn't make me a better mom. <laughs> if anything, it makes me like worse or like, you know, more grumpy or whatever. So I'm trying to find the balance of like giving myself grace and not being so weighed down by feeling like mom guilt about every little decision I make and just kind of realizing like I'm doing my best and I have places that I want to improve and like coming at it from a place of encouragement rather than a place of like shame or despair or guilt or you know just total overwhelm so I just encourage you guys to like literally think right now about something you felt mom guilt for and try to let that go just do some deep breathing and really really try to um like channel some inner peace and then go ahead about your day and remember that you love your children and that you're doing your best. And I think that it can really, really help to have that mindset. So anyways, soapbox over. I just wanted to throw that out there. And as you guys can see, we have like a whole pharmacy in our house right now. <laughs> we have all been sick most of the month of October. And we just keep getting each other sick or like haven't gotten over completely. Anyways, we have so many different like medications going right now. And my poor little son is on albuterol treatments he gets slight constrictive airway uh when he gets sick and so yeah it's just lots of fun we're hoping we can be over it before halloween and i hope we've like gotten this out of our system for the rest of this season but we'll see <laughs> So this little art cover gets wrecked every single day by my cute little baby. <laughs> so I just straightened that up for a second. And then look how cute Ethan's birthday is coming up. And I thought this was the cutest toy. We just got a few little things for him. Um, it's at the end of November. And then I grabbed some little Halloween decorations, um, like for actual Halloween, just like one use type of stuff. I think it was, they were all like a dollar at Walmart. But anyways, I thought this would be fun. I always like to do like an extra little thing on the day of, especially for Henry. I just think it's fun if he wakes up to um, just like a little bit of decor um, to make it extra special on the day of. So Anyways, I'm just finishing up cleaning and look how cute that flower is Henry brought me. <laughs> He's such a sweetie. It's dead, but it's so cute. And it's so nice to get this cleaned up. We are going to get into decluttering in just a sec, so stick around for that and I'll show you guys kind of my process of organizing. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I got this grippy cupboard liner, so I'm going to just cut to fit like all of the um, sections of my cupboard that I want to line. Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out Have your back if you'll have mine 
guys, I'm really liking how this is turning out. It's just like a simple little liner. Um, I just went for like a really, really neutral. It's like almost like a tannish grayish with um, some little white plaid on it. And I think it just looks good. Um, I thought that there was more in that pack. <clears throat> I'll link this on Amazon. It was like eight bucks. And it's basically doing like the bottom layer of most of my cupboards, but uh, I thought there was more, so I might get more and do the rest. Although I will say like the bottom cupboards are the ones we use most, so they're the ones, and they're like the ones we can access the easiest, so they get dirtiest. So I don't know, we'll see. But I like it, they're super grippy on the bottom and they're cute and I feel like they just add a little bit and make it look nicer. I wish we would have done this sooner on our bread cupboard because it, we've gotten like a bunch of grease stains from butter and stuff. Um, we're gonna have to figure out if we can get that out on the back, but yeah, just like a nice little addition. They're non-slip, so um, I'm really happy with like the quality, but yeah, I'll link it below if you guys wanna check it out. There's a million options. I'm sure there's a bunch of great options. And maybe in my part three of this kitchen declutter, I will um, finish it up and do like the rest of the cupboards or the rest of the shelves. But um, for now I have like the bottom ones lined and I'm really happy with that. Okay, this is our notorious junk cupboard. It is insanity. We keep trying to organize this, but we have never done like a super thorough job. So we are going to do that today. We got these Lazy Susans like less than a year ago. Um, and I've got my diet Dr. Pepper on board, which is like so needed today. But we've just never really taken the time to be thorough with organizing. So even with the Lazy Susans, like it hasn't, hasn't really worked. So today, we are going to do this. Basically, um, I'm going to take every single item out of that cupboard and you guys will see me. It's gonna look insane. Like we have so much stuff. It's crazy how much we could fit in there. It's like Mary Poppins bag, like it never ends. But I'm going to then group like piles of stuff together. And then a lot of it actually just doesn't go in that cupboard that it has a spot somewhere else in the kitchen or the house. So by putting that away and then like throwing away some clutter and like old gum and old candy that's just gross and stuff like that you guys are going to be amazed at how much space I have when I'm done it's crazy it looks like I barely put anything back but I actually just put things in their place and then I did put most of this back into the cupboard but it is organized and decluttered and also just like getting rid of some extra containers I didn't need and then like grouping things together um it's crazy how much space you can save. Okay, as you guys can see, we have the most random selection of items in this cupboard. Light bulbs, candles, protein powder, like bubbles. There's so many random things. So I'm really excited to turn this from a junk cupboard into like an intentional, purposeful, organized space and I really do that so stick around and I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product. Okay, so I've got everything grouped. I've got candles, kids stuff, 
Um, it's it's not like perfectly grouped because some things didn't really have a match. Like we have our old phone cases and anyways, we got containers, like extra replacement parts for stuff around the house, um, like mom items, I guess, um, light bulbs. And then we've got a bunch of cleaning products back here, some batteries, some different like jars and containers. And then like a whole bunch of just like around the house tool type stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go from here. Oh yeah. And then over here, I've got some things I need to take downstairs, um, put away in a different place in the kitchen. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started by organizing some, a lot of this smaller stuff. If you have a whole bunch of small things that go together, like they are the same type of, um, category, I guess, put them in a container, like don't leave them in bags. Um, I mean, you can leave them in bags within a container, but you really want to keep those in one space. So like I tried to put like screwdrivers and tools and stuff like that <clears throat> and sandpaper, things like that all together and like nails. There's kind of just, just like handyman tool kit items that don't really belong like in our actual tool toolkit. Um, so that's what this container is. And then this other basket back there um, is just like all of those little replacement parts that we have. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. I want to make it count, honey, come on now and take my hand Ooh. Ooh. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open Okay, so we've got our little magnetic locks, like childproof locks, our cupboard hangers, and those plug covers because Ethan is always trying to get into the outlets. So those have been a lifesaver. And this is like mommy grab and go type of stuff. Um, those were like some Clorox wipes, some like diaper bags and sunscreen, stuff like that. And then little grippies and then for like the bottoms of chairs and then batteries. And those baskets back there were just getting too packed. So this allowed me to um, just keep things a little bit more organized within those baskets. And then these are things that I'm going to kind of grab and go more than the other stuff. So like make sure you have what you really need accessible, accessible, and like make sure you have the things you need the most accessible, the most accessible, if that makes sense. Like that was super obvious, but I actually think that's really helpful advice. Get where we are. And it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. Okay, so I'm putting all of my candles on this old turntable on the first shelf because I love lighting candles. Um, and I'm kind of making this like my home shelf, I guess is the best way I can describe it. So I'm going to start with putting all of my candles um, on this turntable, this Lazy Susan, so it's easy to access whichever one I want and then I'm going to be putting a few more like household items um, in this cupboard things like sunscreen and bug spray stuff like that that I need to grab and go with our kids and a couple of other things so I keep it pretty simple oh yeah and like room spray stuff like that so the shelves were too low to put like my room spray and so you can just adjust them however you like which is awesome I like didn't know that about these shelves for a while. So McKay is just switching those up for me and now I can fit everything I need to. And then the second shelf up is basically like around the house, handyman tool, like that type of stuff. So we've got light bulbs, a bunch of like little replacement parts and sandpaper, screwdrivers, um, a bunch of tool type stuff that actually doesn't go in our toolkit. And then I end up putting a lot of little parts like batteries and stuff like that. So. I'm really liking how this is turning out. As you can see, I've got like my mom's stuff back there, some bubbles for Henry, and then just like household items. And that's basically it for the first shelf. And then these little c 
containers make it really nice to separate everything. They are so cheap. You can get like three for a buck at the dollar store. And then this one, I've got my phone spot and some medicine and then all of our light bulbs up here. I end up moving a couple of these containers as you'll see. Yep. There we go down to the second shelf. So like all that stuff is kind of similar to each other. So just try to group things like in a way that makes sense um, that you will remember. And I probably should do some labels at some point, but look how much room I have so much better. Okay, we're on to the shelf above our fridge. You guys, this is like forgotten stuff that I'm really sad that like some of this stuff, I'm like, dang, we should have been using this, but this is a whole bunch of random stuff. So I'm gonna take it all out again, wipe down the cupboard and then put it back as, and then first I'm gonna organize it and then I'll stick it back. So I'll show you guys that process. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of So when we moved in, we were previously living at McKay's parents' house and we had a bunch of wedding gifts there that we like some of the stuff we hadn't opened and we stuck stuff up in our shelf above our fridge and totally forgot about it. So I'm really bummed about that we have this cute little picnic basket back here that we totally could have been using this whole time but we'll have to wait for the summertime to use that um but then there was a few things like up here that we just never need or will never use so we're gonna end up getting rid of those i found some easter stuff that needs to go in the basement with the easter bins and yeah i'm just kind of getting this organized we have a whole bunch of food prep stuff like mason jars and things like that and i like having those above the fridge because we don't access them very often, but we will use those. McKay loves to make freezer jam, super yummy. And um, yeah, so <clears throat> we'll keep those, but just this is a really good spot for like seasonal type items like this summer picnic set or food prep items that you don't need all the time, stuff like that. So keep in mind when you're putting things up high, if you use them every day, it's probably not the best place for them. Um, especially if you are my height versus my husband's height. <laughs> I can basically reach the first two cupboard or the first two shelves in our kitchen. Yeah, this one actually did not take me very long to organize and I never organized this cupboard. We've been here for let me think. Has it been four years almost? Three and a half years. So I'm just kicking myself for not doing this sooner. It literally took me like 30 minutes at the most. When I fall, baby, I'm stuck with a halfway heart. Okay, I've got all of our jars grouped together. I have got our food prep pans in the back along with those. And then I have a couple of kitchen items that we hardly ever use and then, but we want to keep. And then a cake stand and just like summer stuff. I need to find the rest of those popsicle stick um, holders. And then also found a few bowls and plates above our kitchen that I decluttered as well. So this is the start to our donate pile. Not as big as I would have thought, but that's because Honestly, with throwing garbage away and then also just organizing, that in, of, in and of itself saved so much space. And I truly did get rid of anything I thought we would not use. So yeah, I'm gonna take a few things down to the basement and then we are on to this last cupboard that we're gonna organize today. And it looks like I found the missing popsicle stick, so that's awesome.
I'm gonna stick those popsicle sticks back up where they go um, in that spot above our fridge. I found this cute little jar. That was actually a candle jar that McKay cleaned out for me and I wanna go like use it for cotton swabs or something in my bathroom because it's so cute. So I found this little container to put everything that goes with our KitchenAid. Our KitchenAid stays in the counter right below and the cupboard is like shaking. I'm like running back and forth um, and my tripod is not the sturdiest, but it's fine. So here is what we have, our Blendtec at the bottom, which we use every day. Um, and then everything that goes with our KitchenAid in this organized little shelf right here. We've got a popcorn maker and then stuff to go with our air fryer and a couple of random things that we do use every once in a while. So look how much better that looks. I am so happy you guys with the turnout of all of these spaces. Um, again, like they did not take me as long as I thought. I probably spent two or three hours total and I just wish I would have done it sooner. So here's some things we need to return to people, um, donate, and then I have some Christmas and Easter stuff over here that I just need to take into our basement and that will be it. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I feel really happy with what I've done today. One, two, three cupboards. So it doesn't sound like a lot, but like if you guys go back and watch my kitchen part one declutter, um, it actually ends up being quite a bit and it also takes a lot of time. I keep, I kept thinking like I need to plan like two days straight to just do the kitchen. That's like never gonna happen. Like let's be honest. When do you have two days to like just do a big project? Um, and I'm like taking care of my kids and stuff like while I'm doing this video. So I mean like I can't do the whole kitchen in one day and that's fine. So like. Don't beat yourself up if you can't do your project like that you want to in one chunk of time. Um, I love Jordan Page. She always says, um, like, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? So that's how I'm operating with this kitchen. So the last video I did, I, I organized four cupboards and, <coughs> sorry, I'm like totally sick. We're all sick over here. Um, and then this video, so I sound like a man. <laughs> then this video, I organized another one, two, three cupboards. Um, but they were like massive like that first one was just a massive amount of organization So I feel really happy with what I've done. I cleaned my kitchen It looks like a mess again because I have like little piles. I need to put away um, so I put most of the stuff away that I've gotten out But like there's some stuff that needs to go in like the decor bins downstairs and DI and then um, other people's stuff that we have not uh, like I, my mother-in-law, we've had those bowls for like two years and we keep forgetting to bring them back to her. We're like 30 minutes away. So anyways, just stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with what I've done. I'm gonna be doing a part three um, sometime in probably November. Uh, we'll see, it might be the next video that comes out too, I'm not sure, but where I will probably be finishing my kitchen. So I've pretty much organized all of the top cupboards except for my spice, oh, I'm so excited, my spice cupboard. I am going to do that in the next video and that's gonna probably be like the focus because I'm going to get the little racks, make it all organized and neat. That cupboard is driving me crazy. And so that's gonna be like a really intensive spice cupboard organization video specifically and then hopefully I will get to go through the bottom cupboards as well. Those are not as bad like we pretty much use everything we have down there, although it will take some time. So anyways, there's going to be at least another kitchen declutter video, um, possibly two, we'll see. I'm trying to like not do more than three parts so we don't like extend it forever. But yeah, this has been really fun. I feel so accomplished right now. And um, I actually didn't end up getting rid of that much stuff. But what I did do is throw clutter and garbage away and then just like condensing things and organizing. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have like three times the amount of space I used to have. I mean, it's insane what you can do without even having to get rid of that much. And I only kept what we use or I really think that we will use um, some of the products or some of the things I kept were less frequent use. So I put those up like above our um, fridge where we don't need them as much. But seriously, if you just go through and condense and group things together so things aren't like spread out, like I found those little popsicle makers in like three different cupboards and like now they're in one little spot. It really saves so much space. So pick a project that you've been dying to get your hands on, whether it's the kitchen or your bedroom or like whatever it is, and just choose a little chunk to do right now. 
and get that done. It will feel so much better and see how much more space you can get just from condensing and organizing and getting rid of a few extra things that you really don't need. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I've got some fun fall recipes, videos coming out, some more kitchen declutter, some more clean with me's. And let me know in the comments below, like what do you guys want to see right now? We're kind of getting to be in between like holidays and so let me know what you want to see and of course I will be doing a Christmas clean and decorate with me sometime in November um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye